In the early 1940s, Terrazin, a small town in the Czech Republic, was converted into a Nazi ghetto and quickly became the largest concentration camp in that region. The Nazis used Terrazin in a propaganda campaign designed to fool the Western allies, pu publicizing the camp for its rich cultural life. Many scholars, philosophers, musicians, and artists were imprisoned there to add credibility to their deception. In reality, more than 150,000 Jews, 15,000 of them were children, were herded like cattle onto overcrowded train cars destined for this camp where, unbeknownst to them, most would be held until their final extermination. Many of the detainees died from starvation and exposure. Most that survived were sent to other camps, such as Auschwitz, where they would meet their predetermined death. Only 17,247 people survived the horrors of terrorism. Well, several years ago, my good friends Richie and Gina Kingsmore visited Terrazin. After walking through the town and the encampment, they were deeply moved. They thought about the musicians coping with fear and depression, concerning their unknown future, turning to their music as an escape from their reality. They also wondered what the children were thinking as they painted and drew pictures while they were detained. A song began to well up in Richie's heart. Being inspired by the Spirit, the song Terrorism was born. But the message of the song was incomplete and only told a story of hopelessness. And we know as believers that the only answer to hurt and hopelessness is through a relationship with Jesus Christ. Not until Richie combined Terrorism with the classic worship song, You Are My Hiding Place, was the message of the song complete. This song is not only founded in scripture, it also depicts the life of Corey Ten Boom and her family who saved the lives of over 800 Jews by hiding them behind fake walls in their home. This is terrorism with You Are My Hiding Place. <laughs> 